So if you send a donation, just click now. Did I just witness what I think I witnessed? Please don't tell me I just saw a billionaire standing next to a multi-millionaire begging the average everyday citizen for donations that can barely get by due to a real life recession, living paycheck to paycheck, barely can pay rent, barely can put food on the table for our families, okay? Living in a real life recession in a country where our president is giving away all our resources, sources, and resources of to another country for money. If you two don't go take your Hollywood elite behinds to your other Hollywood elite friends and politician buddies that got millions like you do and billions and get all that money together and help out Maui, you are out your damn mind. Please don't insult our intelligence like that. And after you guys do all of that, you will have enough money to help the rest of us. Boo. Get out of here with that. The nerve. I have no money anymore. I think Joe Biden should take his $700 and get back on the fucking plane and go home. All right, guys. So we got to talk about the Maui wildfires once again, because the people there, the residents there are angry with the lack of answers and accountability and funds that they are receiving in response to this disaster that saw a lot of their lives be upended there. Uh, homes destroyed, their businesses destroyed. Uh, you have over 100 people dead and thousands unaccounted for. Just a total disaster, okay? And the people there are suffering massively, okay? However, again, there are a lot more questions than answers at this point in regards to how it happened, why it happened, why wasn't it stopped before it got out of control. People just got a whole lot of questions, okay? There are a lot more questions than answers. And these questions have led to people coming up with theories in regards to, hey, maybe just maybe this is why this disaster happened the way that it did. We busted our ass and this is what we get. Nobody called us. Our phones didn't work from five in the morning. The fire was not 10 o'clock when I went to work. The fire was still there. There was no water. Tell me if that's that's coincidence. No water, no warning. And everybody talking about the satellite city before the fire. Lahaina going to be the first satellite city. Well, hey, Jeff Bezos, you got what you wanted. Oprah, you got what you wanted. And the guy who owns the nut, you got what you wanted. Fuck us all over. That's what happened. Okay. We need help in Lahaina. Who's going to come now and ask us, can I pray for you, Andy? Thank you. Can I help you with your paperwork? Because all we got so far was $700 and we don't know who to call or anything. It's culturally insensitive in that zone. Yeah, so you've seen that, you heard that. Now, this resident clearly is upset. Again, she has more questions and answers in regards to what happened, who's going to help, what's going on. And she invoked Oprah's name, okay? Somebody's name who has been thrown around in regards to this Maui wildfire because she's a resident of Maui and she's been involved in what appears to be charitable behavior that a lot of people have questions about from the beginning okay she was accused of trying to get free clout off of it okay by taking a camera crew into a shelter allegedly that's what she tried to do some stories that came out about that but people have always had questions about her motivations okay because you know when natural disasters happen like this um you have people that will come out and take advantage of it like you know billionaires okay the the land uh, that has now been burned up is sold for pennies on a dollar because it's a lot less valuable does a lot more work and investment that needs to go into rebuilding the land and then the people there the habitants there the normal regular people there they get screwed over and i think a lot of people are afraid that that's what's going to happen to these maui residents and it seems that oprah has been hearing some of these criticisms or theories about what her real motives are okay she's gonna be one of these billionaires that's just gonna buy up more land on the island and take over things uh, she's heard that, so it seems, as she's teamed up with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who supported Biden in the last election in an embarrassing video <laughs> that I'll never forget. But anyways, uh, she teamed up with him to launch a fund, a charity fund, in which they have donated $10 million, and they will use that in order to give families a set payment, a set amount, I think it's $1,200 per month, in support in maui that we were texting back and forth 
And I read this article that Dolly Parton had given money in her community. And I said, I think this is the answer. You said, I think that's the answer. I said, I love it. And so we have created the People's Fund of Maui that will put money directly in the hands of the people who need it right now. So if you send a donation, just click where you see below and send a donation. That money is going to go to one of many residents who have been displaced in Maui. We guarantee. That's right. And I know a lot of people out there, as Oprah and I have been finding, are just uh, having a hard time trusting where the money goes, what organizations that I send money to, how can I help. Uh, in this case, the fund that we created with a lot of hard work from a lot of hardworking people yeah. who all care about these people of, of Maui, uh, as Oprah was saying, it is a clean, direct, from you, directly to their hands, and right away with some real immediacy because as we're finding, as you guys around the world know, with disasters like this, the number one need is money. Is money, is money. In hand. And, and so people being that. able to have their own agency, being able yes. to make decisions for themselves about what they need and what their family needs, that's our goal, is to get that to the people now. And so we appreciate any support that you can give all the people who were calling me and texting me and messaging me and saying, what do I do? What do I do? This is what you do. <laughs> you know. The People's Fund of, of Maui. Maui. <laughs> yeah, so they've set up a so-called People's Fund of Maui, in which they put their own money in, I think, again, $10 million. And they're asking other people to donate as well, too. Okay, apparently this is going to be direct cash in hand. Here you go. OK, it's not going to be anybody taking anything off the top like a lot of these charities and foundations usually do. It's just going to be direct money in the hand. OK, this is what they allege. OK, however, people have criticisms of Oprah and Dwayne Rock Johnson doing this because people are saying that, look, Oprah's a billionaire and Dwayne the Rock Johnson is almost a billionaire. I think he's worth like six, seven, eight hundred million. Depends on, you know, what website you go to. <laughs> right. He's worth a lot of money. OK, at least hundreds of millions of dollars for sure. Why in the world are these two people, some of the richest people on planet Earth, asking for regular, normal, everyday people who are struggling, okay, struggling in the Biden economy to contribute to this fund? They're re receiving backlash for asking for donations. Take a look. Oprah, Oprah, come, 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 come here, baby. Come here, baby. You asking for relief aid. To those poor people in Maui that lost everything. Ain't them your neighbors? I mean, you used to be giving away stuff on your show. You get a car. You get a car. You get a car. Why can't you reach into your $2 billion net worth and say, You get relief. You get relief. You get relief. Instead, you down here asking me for money. Back to school just started and we as parents are wiped out. Half of us just got our job back since COVID. I know it's been a long time since you've been broke, but let me just tell you that the prices in the 90s when you was broke are not today's prices, baby. And then you got the nerve to come down here and ask me for money with your own personal bodyguard who's easily worth $800 million alone. I know at least between the two of y'all, y'all can both come up with about $2 million to help your neighbors out. I mean, Oprah, it ain't even like you got to pay a deductible on your insurance because your property wasn't touched. Between you and the president only giving $700 to those poor people, I don't know who worse. Nah, we, we got to get Joe out of there, man. How many times are we going to laugh in their faces and blatantly disrespect the people of Maui? Some of you might not be ready for this conversation, but I'm somebody who questions everything, and I think that this is damage control. I haven't even had a chance to touch on this topic yet, but let's start out with the $700, <laughs> the pocket change that was sent over to the islands to help rebuild and restore the island. $700, a slap in the face. Joe, listen, I know you've been napping the majority of your presidency, but babes, $700 barely covers groceries nowadays. Forget rebuilding. I think I can speak for everybody when I say I would prefer my tax dollars go to our own people to help the people within the country as opposed to the billions that have been sent over to Ukraine. Now over to Oprah and The Rock. Okay, so they started like a little GoFundMe, a fundraiser to help the people of the island, which is respectable, I guess. They're doing more than the government at this point. They kicked the fundraiser off with a $10 million donation. I'm guessing 50-50, $5 million each. I don't know how it was broken down exactly. Regardless, pennies to them. In case you guys forgot or you just didn't know, a simple Google 
Google search would tell you that Oprah's net worth is 2.5 billion, The Rock is 800 million, him being one of the highest paid actors in the world. Now listen, to play devil's advocate, I am in no position, nobody's in any position to tell somebody else how to spend their money regardless of how much they have. The real kicker with this whole situation, which most of us are aware of, a lot of the elites, the super wealthy, their properties were not touched by these fires that ravished the island, specifically Lahaina, including Oprah's staggering 2,000 acres that she owns worth of land on this island. If you care that much about this natural disaster in the island of Maui, how about you give some of that land back to the native Polynesians that inhabit it? Now these super wealthy and investors coincidentally wanna swoop in now and try to purchase this land off of these poor people that are in a state of desperation. Back to this fundraiser, I do think it's damage control, like I said, because Oprah's under fire with everything going on. And it's a shame because even if they are doing this out of the goodness of their heart, it's hard to trust them. I don't trust the higher ups. I don't trust the elites. I don't trust the government because we've been fooled and bamboozled so many times, especially with shit like this. Everything is so calculated and strategically done. <laughs> like the fact that these billion dollar properties were not touched, but yet the like the, the city of Lahaina was just completely taken out. It just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, so you've seen that, you heard that, okay? You have people who are coming after Oprah and The Rock for starting this fund, this charity fund to give money to the people of Maui to help them. Now, here's the thing. Here's what I think about this. I think that people are rightfully skeptical when it comes to Oprah and some of the questions about, you know, why are, why was her property not affected? You know, they say that her property location is not exactly known, but it was miles away from where the fire was. So, again, that's the mainstream explanation, right? But I think that... You know, despite some of the, the skepticism being legitimate and warranted, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of counting other people's pockets, right? Especially using some of these figures on the internet in regards to net worth and how much money somebody allegedly has. Now, there's no doubt in my mind, uh, Oprah probably does have $10 million just laying around. But at the same time, you know, who knows, right? I, I'm not sure exactly how much money they have and how much money they have to give. I'm not sure how their current financial situations are in regards to what other liabilities they may have, what other commitments they may have already uh, made or promised for the year. I don't think it's, it's as simple as just saying, well, you know, we hate the fact that you're asking us to give money when you're a billionaire and we think that the $10 million that you gave is pocket change. I mean... I'm just saying, like, I, I don't know, right? Like, I feel like the $10 million is better than not having the $10 million. At least as of right now, um, it seems that Oprah's willing to give more direct cash to the residents there uh, than the Biden administration, which, you know, hey, they're only giving 700 bucks. The rest of the aid uh, is being held up because Biden wants to give money to Ukraine, right? He wants to make sure Ukraine gets paid first before Maui. So I think that the criticisms of the Biden administration are 100% legit. And you had our boy Deuce Deuce, okay, who is probably one of the only journalists in the White House press room, uh, press the affirmative action press secretary on the Biden administration's response to Maui. Take a look. Okay, and it seems like the hurricane response so far is robust. Did you guys realize that the initial Hawaii wildfire response was not that good? Or is it just easier for people to get help from the White House when the president is not on vacation? So the premise of your question and the way you posed your question, I disagree, just for the record. Uh, so if you talk to, if you were to do your reporting and speak to the governor of Hawaii, the senators uh, of Hawaii, the folks on the ground, they would say that the president reacted in record time when it came to dealing with the wildfires, uh, when it came to dealing and making sure that they got everything that they need on the federal level to deal with what was going on on the ground. Let's not forget there were more than 600 uh, uh, federal employees on the ground already to assist uh, with the wildfires in Maui. So your question is is wrong, it's flawed in many, many ways. And I would, I would, uh, I would advise you to go speak to the governor and the local and state officials in, in, uh, in Hawaii. Meanwhile, today I haven't had any money come in. I haven't had anybody call me back. I didn't have anything. I, I have no idea. I lost my house. 
I lost my car. I lost my animals. I mean, come on, man. We're not getting anything. So today, I still didn't get my meds. I cannot get my meds yet. My, med my medicine was all burnt in my house. My rent money was all burnt in my house. I have no money anymore. I think Joe Biden should take his $700 and get back on the fucking plane and go home. That's what I think. Because $700 compared to all the millions he's giving to Ukraine. Why? We need it. That's why we don't understand why. We're citizens and we cannot get money. But if they're not citizens, they get gazillions of dollars from the USA. Where, where are, where's our government? Fix your house before you fix somebody else's house. This is how, like, your community, other Hawaiians you know, locals, indigenous people, is that how they feel, pretty much how you feel? Everybody feels that way. Come on. That's why the local people stick together and we help our own people because we know the outside people are not going to do it. Yeah, I don't think that cringe Jean-Pierre is in touch with the reality of how people actually feel down there, considering how we saw Joe Biden get a F.U., welcome when he showed up to Lahaina and he showed up to Maui like what two or three vacations right after uh he decided that hey this is a problem okay the guy said you know what let me take a couple vacations first before I get down there to Maui okay clearly was not on his priority list and the people see that they see that and they see the 700 bucks that they're given versus all the billions of dollars that we send to Ukraine and they're rightfully upset. They are rightfully upset. And again, the money's going to run out soon here unless Congress basically sends money to Ukraine first, okay? Because Biden is holding up FEMA funding uh in favor of Ukraine because he wants Ukraine to get funded first and then, you know, we can fund FEMA and, you know, use the funds to help America, right? I mean, that's basically the Biden doctrine, America last, right? Everybody else first, illegals and Ukraine first, okay? I mean, you know, I don't know exactly what it's going to take for people to realize uh, just how screwed up this administration is. Uh, but again, maybe it does take these types of disasters, illegals invading cities uh, for Democrats to understand the consequences of their voting habits. But in regards to Oprah and The Rock, I'm not sure if the criticism of them is legit in regards to this fund that they're setting up. I mean, they did donate something, right? And something's better than nothing. I don't think you can force people to give up their money. Okay, the fact that they're doing it, and they're giving millions of dollars. I think personally, they've probably done more than what the Biden administration can do. But, you know, I understand the criticism. I get it. Right? I understand people upset with them. But uh, I think that most of their anger should be turned towards the Bidens. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.